Hello everyone, I'm Simone, tech specialist at Kiloview. In today's video, I want to do the first unboxing of our PU3, our flagship bonding encoder. Let's see what is inside. So we can find the brackets to attach to our camera. Of course, our brand new P3 unit. Our redundant batteries and of course our PSU. So let's now see how to configure for the first time your P3 unit. Follow me. Okay, first thing first, open the cover on top of the P3. You see I just populated the P3 with all the four cards. You can mix it up 5G and 4G modems. Now, before even stop, start the unit, insert your Ethernet cable and power it up. Okay, now press on the arrow, read the user license agreement to the end and go I have read and agree. As you can see, I've just selected all my SIM modules and they are preloaded. And I also can see my local IP address. In this way, we'll be able to configure this with a Kilolink Server Pro. Tap on the arrow and press on Configuration Completed. Okay, once inserted the IP address in your browser, just simply use admin and admin as username and password and press on login. For the first time, you need to change the password for a most secure one. Once you have done it, just simply put admin as user and the new password you have chose. All right, this is the main web UI of your P3. As you can see, we can decide whether using HDMI or SDI, encode H.264 or H.265 and all the video and audio parameters from this main tab. What is interesting for us is this left side with the bonding information. So, let's open our bonding server first. This is our Kilonix Server Pro. If we tap on maintenance mode, we can create and add a new device. Click on add device and we'll be back to the P3 interface GUI. On the top right, there's a high icon, press on it. Copy the serial number of your P3. Go back into this Kilolink Server Pro and add the serial number first. Give it a name and click on generate authorization code. Now with this button, you can copy the authorization code to then paste it into the P3. Press OK and you register successfully your P3 to the bonding server. Let's connect the P3 to the bonding server now. Into the main page of the P3, click on the gear icon near the bonding interface. Put the service address of your server and paste the authorization code. In this tab, you can also decide whether you want bitrate auto adjust or not and enable or disable encryption. Press OK. Now simply select the interface you want to enable as a bonding connection. For this matter, I'm going to select everything. After you select it, you just simply press on the bonding on button. You will now see 
On the bonding status, we are now live and the connection status is connected. So if we come back to the interface of the Kilonix Server Pro, we're gonna see we had successfully connected our P3 unit. Exit from the maintenance mode. And as you can see, we are online. In order to see the web preview of the GUI of our P3, we can go on the right side of it and just click on this little icon where details is listed. You can see we have completely remote access to our P3 directly from this web UI. Let's now add an NDIHX feed into the streaming tab. Go back from this window, click once on the P3 instance, click again and click on the thumbnail. In here, we can decide the buffer and we can add our stream service. Click on Add Stream Service and select NDI HX. Give it a name and press on OK. Whenever you see this symbol here, it's meaning your stream is being played. Now I will give this P3 to my colleague so we can show up the image coming up on the computer. As you can see, my colleague Dayu now is hanging around the KiloView office. So as far as we open the NDI feed, we can just simply open a Studio Monitor instance, right-click, get a, our Kilolink NDIHX over the P3 signal, and we suddenly have the signal into NDI. We can also do the same kind of thing directly into OBS. So let's open OBS first. And as you can see, I've just added the NDI source, and we got it. So. Easy as that, this is how you integrated NDI HX with your P3 system. See, it's really easy to use NDI HX with our P3 new bonding system. Hope you like this video and stay tuned for more to come. You can always reach us at www.kilovy.com or for any technical support, send us an email at kilovy.com. See you in the next one.